Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, July 23rd, 2008. Thanks for stopping by. Greetings from Ron Paul's district. Ron Paul's congressional district. Uh, got a few things I want to talk about real quick. First of all, uh, Ron Paul, is uh, he sent me an a email today saying that uh, they're going to have a meeting in Minneapolis, Minnesota, August the 31st through September the 2nd. This is going to be uh, a convention for the uh, Campaign for Liberty. And Ron Paul is going to be there along with a lot of other people. And I would ask all of you out there, if you're a Ron Paul supporter, uh, to try and be there in Minneapolis, Minnesota on August the 29th through September the 2nd. It's very important that we continue to advocate the ideas that Ron Paul is uh, talking about. Uh, it's very important that we continue to organize and continue to get out there and demonstrate and uh, try to wake people up to what's going on. I know a lot of you out there might have packed it in, you might have uh, said, okay, I voted for Ron Paul, that's all I can do, I, I, or I uh, contributed to the money bombs, uh, his campaign is over, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Well, uh, that's not quite true. Uh, there are still a lot of things that we can do to support Ron Paul and his campaign for liberty there's a lot of things that we need to be doing uh, because this j isn't just about ron paul it's about our country and saving it or saving what's left of it before it's too late uh, today i watched a video on youtube where a government agent uh, searches a man's property with no search warrant with a sheriff right there with her and the man uh, is standing there with a video camera and he's telling these people you're violating my fourth amendment rights I do not authorize you to be on my property and to search my property and they keep telling him well if you have nothing to hide then you can let us look around on your property and you have to cooperate. Uh, we have a right to be here. All this kind of stuff. And they were obviously lying, or they had no idea what they were talking about. Uh, and that is the direction this country is going in. People don't understand uh, the ideas that this country was founded on. They don't understand. Uh, and this is a very common misperception. You think, well, if I have nothing, if I'm not hiding anything, then it's okay for the government to search me. No, it's not okay. Uh, the Fourth Amendment guarantees that you have the right to your privacy in your person, possessions, and papers. The government has no business looking around at your stuff because, you know, look, even if you haven't done anything wrong, you still have things that you don't want other people going through. You still have your privacy, and there's a very good reason for that. If the government can come and look through all your things, then people in the government who want to abuse their powers can find out whatever they need to know about you, can uh, you know, uh, infringe on many of, of your other rights by doing this. Uh, it's not just about you know uh, if you're innocent, it's okay. I mean, the Fourth Amendment doesn't say that if you have nothing to hide, then you just let them go ahead and go through their house. No, it says. Uh, you know, if if you have a house, it's yours. You know, they can't go looking through that unless they get your permission. Now, uh, there's always been uh, search warrants. Police have always been able to do their job. If there's really a problem, they can get a search warrant and they can search your house and find out if you're, you know, uh, committing a crime. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about search warrants. I'm talking about people getting on your property who have no warrant, who no judge would give them a warrant, so they just walk on your property and do what they want. The government is, is starting to do these kind of things. 
And when, um, when the man asked the woman's name, she gave him a government ID badge, and it had Susie W. It didn't even have her last name. And she wouldn't tell him what her last name. Now, why do you think that was? Why do you think somebody in the government would hide their last name? You know, think about that. Think about that. People, they, she knew she was doing something illegal. Otherwise, she would have given him her last name. So, anyway, uh, that, that video was pretty disturbing to me, but uh, it's not anything completely new. Uh, you know, local law enforcement sometimes does uh, overrun its authority. Uh, they sometimes do violate people's constitutional rights. It's not new, but since 9-11, it has gotten a whole lot worse. It's become accepted. Uh, it's been institutionalized in the highest forms of government. And people are starting to cave in. They're starting to think that they don't have any rights to privacy. That, that if, the, if the police show up at your door and want to ransack your house, they, you know, you have to let them do that. Well, no, you don't. You don't have to let anybody go through your things. You know, uh, the government is not always perfect. They don't always get things right. Sometimes they outlaw things that aren't really bad. And if you do something and they outlaw it and there's nothing wrong with it, and then they come search your house, they're going to arrest you for it. But the thing is, if it was in your house and you weren't bothering anybody with it, there's no reason for them to, to even know that it exists, right? You know, maybe I'm not making this argument quite right, but uh, the basic point is it doesn't matter whether you have anything to hide or whether you don't have anything to hide. They have no business going through your property. Uh, so I hope everybody out there uh, understands that and, and uh, understand that, uh, you know, the government is not going to give you your constitutional rights unless you demand them. And uh, one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, the entertainment industry in this country is terrible. I mean, talk about crap. Uh, I, every day I see commercials for movies that I would not watch if you paid me to. I wouldn't watch if you, you know, paid me $5 to watch the movie, let alone pay $5 to watch the movie. Every single movie out there has computer animated creatures who scream, and I'm sick of it, okay? If I see one more computer animated creature look into the camera and roar ah, I am going to go to Hollywood and shoot somebody okay enough you people it wasn't cool the first time you did it 10 years ago and it's still not cool now when every single movie has it so anyway I just had to get that off my chest uh we need to uh, start watching foreign films or, any, or something because Hollywood is just a load of donkey dong. Thanks for watching.